Hi guys, this is Jason Singh from Black Hole Tech. So AMD has sent us a few of their uh, new CPUs. Now these are not uh, newly manufactured ones as per se. They're basically refreshed units of a previous generation of APUs and uh, 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 CPUs which they had already launched uh, some time back. Uh, so now we have the A107890K uh, and uh, we have uh, the A107860K with us and they have also sent us the Athlon X4 8880K. So now the A107890K is the highest end APU from uh, AMD. It replaces the previously uh, manufactured A107870K. Now this CPU runs at a clock speed of 4.1 GHz and it has a turbo core of up to 4.3 GHz. It's a quad core CPU, so that's four cores along with eight GPU cores. So that's a, uh, uh, that's a, common, uh, that's a combined uh, total of 12 uh, compute units. So um, this is basically an uh, APU and it, and it uh, sells for around $165. Let's just have a look at the chip. This is a sample unit which AMD has sent us for review purposes only. Yeah, so this is the A107890K. And it comes with the Wraith cooler. So now the Wraith cooler is the same, uh, this is the same exact cooler which comes with the FX8370. Now uh, the uh, A107890K is a 95 uh, watt chip and uh, this cooler should do a pretty uh, decent job. In fact, it's going to be a lot cooler and a lot uh, less noisier than the previous uh, coolers uh, which were sent sold with the AMD APUs and uh, it already has a pre-applied thermal paste as you can see over here and uh, okay this uh, cooler is pretty bulky and if you if you want to have a look into the in-depth uh, overview of this cooler you can uh, have a look at a previous video which we did on the rate cooler The, here we have the A107860K. Now uh, the A107860K comes at a clock speed of 3.6 GHz and it boosts all the way to 4 GHz. It comes with 4 cores, CPU cores and uh, 8 GPU cores. So now the, uh, but however this is a slightly clock down version of the A107890K. So, um, and it, it sold at a price of around $120 or so. Um, now, uh, one good thing about this chip is that uh, it has an extremely low TDP. It's a whole 30 watts lower than the A107890K. It has a TDP of 65 watts. So now this is a lot lower than uh, the uh, A107890K, uh, even though the clocks have been you know, reduced to quite a bit. Now between these two chips, you'll notice that the main thing is the frequency difference. Otherwise, they're based on essentially the same architecture. So here we have an uh, AMD sticker which you can stick on your chassis so to, you know, I mean, uh, make it look a little good. You know, you get stickers with almost all products that come, even GPUs and motherboards and stuff. So here is the CPU. Now we'll have a look at the cooler. The cooler is going to be a little smaller than the rate cooler uh, because it's just for a 65 watt chip. Yeah. So this is the cooler, which comes with it, as you can see. This also has its own pre-applied thermal paste and a uh, you know, four pin PWM. Uh, function from the CPU fan, so it'll boost according to the fan will increase, uh, the, the speed of the fan will increase according to the heat generated by the CPU. So this should do a pretty decent job for the uh, 65 watt chip. Now we come to uh, AMD's uh, Athlon X4. Now this is the Athlon X4 880K. Now um, this uh, chip is a little different from these other two APUs and it comes for around $95 to around $100. You get the sticker with it as well. And uh, now uh, this chip is basically uh, just a CPU so you need to use a discrete graph graphics card with it. Um, okay, and um, it, it, it has a frequency of 4 GHz and it turbo cores all the way to 4.2 GHz. These are all unlocked chips, so you can enjoy overclocking. You can either use these stock coolers, which will probably give you around about, you know, 300 to 500 megahertz increase in the, in the clock speed with these uh, coolers, since the capacity for these coolers do pretty good. And uh, otherwise, if you do have an aftermarket cooler, you have an octa cooler, you have liquid cooling, then, you know, I mean, you could easily get maybe around 700 to 800 or... Uh, 800 megahertz more you know than the stock frequency so let's have a look at this cooler now this cooler is almost the same size as the rate cooler probably a little smaller and uh, this is a 95 watt chip as well so as you can see over here it comes with pre-applied thermal paste and uh, yeah this is the fan this is along with the cooler it has 
same number of heat pipes yes and here you can compare them side by side and you can see that the rate cooler is still slightly larger even though these are both 95 watt chips so why would uh, a company do that well the rate cooler is not only cooling four cores it's also uh, it's not only cooling four cores it's also co cooling for uh, eight gpu cores right because the apu consists of uh, the CPU plus the GPU so it's running together so therefore it would uh, output a lot more heat than the X4880K word the Athlon X4 so um, that's justified and we, we guess that even though the Athlon X4 is just a 95 watt chip this should probably do you know I mean uh, it, it would it would easily be able to handle your uh, CPU at stock or maybe you know uh, a, f a few megahertz above stock so now we will be uh, doing a written review on this so uh, please come back and uh, check out our written review. We'll have a link in the description. And uh, we'd like to thank AMD for sending us as they released it, as the units were sent out. We got ours today and we're really happy. And uh, so please like, share and comment on our video. Till then, we'll see you again. Bye.